Hello human, thank you for being on the channel. Unleashed, also known as Danny the Dog. A mob boss by the name of Bart enslaved a man since he was a child. So he took this boy, and how he gets this boy is really fucked up. You see it when you watch the movie. And then he trained him and turned him into like what they would call a human attack dog. Danny is just there to serve this mob boss's purposes. He treats him like a dog. He has him in a, in a cage and he just throws him little scraps and little cans of food to eat out of. He doesn't treat Danny like a human being, even though Danny is a human being. We see throughout the course of the film that Bart, or as he likes to call himself, Uncle Bart, to Danny, he tells him, look, some humans fuck me over. I'm going to need you to go in there and wreck their shit. And Danny wears this collar around his neck, just like a dog. And when Bart releases the collar from Danny's neck and he says, get him, then that means it's time for Danny to, to fuck him up. He got him trained like a dog and shit. And even though the fight scenes are really cool, you feel bad for this Danny character because you're like, man, he ain't no dog. That's a person right there. I've seen human beings treat dogs better than how Danny is treated in this movie by this mob boss named Bart. Something happens along the way to Bart and Danny decides to go off and try to make a new life, you know, be with a, a brand new family and stuff. And it's not even so much that Danny is searching for this family as much as it is that things just so happen to work out in a way that he ended up with these humans. Uh, Sam, played by Morgan Freeman, and then you have Victoria, played by a lovely young actress. I don't want to butcher her name. So you have Sam and Victoria. They look after Danny, and they take him in. They embrace him rather quickly, and they see that he's different and you know, he's scared and he, he's hesitant to speak to them. He doesn't really know if he can trust them, but it seems like Danny likes them and they like Danny. And that's the other part of this film. So the first part of this film, you see that Danny is in a situation where he's treated like an attack dog. And then the other part of the film is about Danny trying to lead a normal life with, with Sam and Victoria. So a lot of this film, like, you could cheer at certain badass moments because Jet Li is a beast martial artist. And, and, you know, you seeing his martial arts skills throughout the film is intriguing. But then you also smile when he's with Sam and Victoria because this character has a chance to be happy to where that was taken away from him before. A human being is not supposed to be like a dog or less than a dog in terms of how he's treated. On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being horseshit on a hot, smelly-ass day, and 10 being mind-blowingly amazing, I'm going to give this movie an 8 out of 10. I think that this movie is entertaining. You have some badass fight scenes with Jet Li, but also you have a really good story about a human being being deprived the stuff that a human being is supposed to have. You know, this... You know, what about actual family? What about uh, love and happiness and friends and sex and all these things going out in the world? You know, you, you have them focusing on what happens when you take those things away from a person and you treat them like, again, less than a dog just to use as your weapon. And what the idea of real family means and human connection and how a person can change based on the individuals that are in that person's life, you know, it tackles some very strong themes about family and friendship and love and stuff um, mixed in with a really badass character. And you see that there is a, what they would call a tender side to this badass character, but he's been made to remove and suppress these things to where he just doesn't understand so many things. He doesn't know what it means to feel certain things. He has to to learn and, and get used to it and understand that, you know, not all humans are going to treat you in a bad fashion. You know, they're not going to disrespect you or, or try to hurt you or put you in danger like the mob boss, Uncle Bart. You know what I'm saying? Not all humans are like that. And, you know, you see that through the Sam and Victoria character. Despite 
most humans being trash. There are actually some good humans out there, just there are few and far in between when you're talking about through and through what it means to be a good human being. So I very much enjoyed this film. If you are a fan of Jet Li, I think that uh, this is a must watch just to see, you know, him like really acting. You know, you get like a really good dramatic performance from Jet Li and, you know, you get a good story and you also get some some epic fight sequences. Thank you for being here, human. You be sure to like this video and share it with the humans you know. And then you punch the shit out of the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. Man, Bob Hoskins, who plays Bart, the mob boss, he played the hell out of this role. Because I wanted this character to die the whole movie. I'm like, you can't treat Jet Li like that. Somebody kill this motherfucker. And until next time, Terrence out.